Three o'clock habit in the Philippines. When did this start? This is its history. It's, it's very uh, interesting history. This was launched in a nationwide scale all over the Philippines, aired by 50 radio stations and four major TV stations on June 16, 1985. And Philippines became the first country ever to air this prayer given by the Lord, the mystic Saint Faustina. This started by former this Jackie who had the inspiration who got the inspiration from the Lord that Easter Sunday of 1985 that the whole country must pray even for a minute for peace. He thought he was dreaming. And later on, he found out that there was a prayer indeed when somebody gave him a leaflet as he was going out from the Immaculate Conception Parish Church in Cubao, somebody handed him a booklet about the Divine Mercy. And he met other pioneers who were praying the Novena. And from that time on, they had meetings to set Meetings were held in this residence at number 19, Spencer Street, New Manila, or Cubao, Quezon City, which later on became the first chapel ever to be named after the Lord of the Divine Mercy, the Divine Mercy Channel. After so many meetings, they were planning what prayer to air. Will it be the Our Father or will it be an ecumenical prayer for peace? Until, until Mr. Bob Stewart, the former founder and owner of DCWB Radio and Channel 7, asserted that since the Philippines is a Catholic country, why don't you use that prayer found in the diary of St. Faustina, which is actually the three o'clock prayer. And from that time on, they set it and turn it into video. Bob Stewart also played the role by financing all the travels, airfares of Don De Castro all over the Philippines and talk to all the TV station managers and radio managers to air this prayer simultaneously starting on June 16, 1985 and so it happened and Don De Castro became 
the new or one of the new newscasters of PTV4 after the people power of EDSA. And he also founded the, the Hour of Great Mercy, a religious program that started explaining God's mercy based on the diary of St. Faustina. So on June 16, 1985, this was aired all over the Philippines. Three o'clock in the afternoon is the hour of great mercy. At this time, our Lord Jesus Christ died on the cross and redeemed the world. Let us now get our prayer leaflets ready. And this prayer became a stepping stone for the whole country to know the whole devotion of the Divine Mercy. And Saint Faustina, the Polish mystic who was still an, a sister, who was not yet beatified or canonized, became popular in the Philippines, just like in Poland. So after this successful nationwide launching, Don De Castro gave up his job as a disc jockey to be a full-timer lecturer or preacher of the devotion to the divine mercy all over the Philippines. And years later, in 2002, Don De Castro became instrument in fathering a Catholic TV network in the Philippines that was aired globally all over Asia, the Divine Mercy TV channel. So keep the three o'clock habit. Pray for peace, for conversion, for healing all over the world. Keep on the three o'clock habit. Hour of great mercy. Our Lord asks for a special prayer at the hour that recalls his death. He told Saint Faustina, at three o'clock, implore my mercy especially for sinners. And if only for a brief moment, immerse yourself in my passion. This is the hour of great mercy. In this hour, I will refuse nothing to the soul that makes a request of me in virtue of my passion. Jesus also requests that we do the stations of the cross and visit the Blessed Sacrament. The three o'clock prayer. You die, Jesus, that the source of life flowed out for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fountain of life, immeasurable divine mercy, cover the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which flowed out from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, 